Hi, Julia Watts here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we're going to look at the Rose Garden Creative Pack from Sentimentally Yours. There are three new creative packs um, and the re I have done another video of the Harmony Blue, which you'll find on my YouTube channel. And there is a live uh, video as well uh, using the Tropical Paradise. So this particular video will give you one project um, of each pack uh, from me. Um, so uh, there is also on my YouTube channel, there is a flick through each of the uh, individual creative packs too. Um, they're about eight minutes long, so you can have a look at those and when I, when I go through each of the, the pages in detail and give you some ideas as well. So I'm not going to do that this time because uh, you can go and look at that, but I'll just show you the front cover and just tell you a little bit about it. So all of the creative packs are all acid and lignin free. Uh, they're single sided, um, but the most important thing is that they're 250 GSM, um, which means they are a kind of a, a construction weight, um, uh, like a cardstock rather than a paper really. Um, and in this particular one, which is the Rose Garden, there are 176 individual elements once you've uh, cut them out. So you get um, two, four, six, seven uh, sheets, which have got uh, toppers on them, tags, sentiments, embellishments, um, lots and lots of, of, of lovely stuff for you to play with, uh, including um, this one that's got like four A6s six backgrounds on them and you find other backgrounds on there there's complete toppers on there as well so you can just pop that on your card and you're good to go um also on the front cover you've got this bonus um um topper as well um so you can absolutely use that one because it's the same weight as what's inside and then you get five backgrounds uh, as well you know, you'll be chopping some of these off. I mean, that, that might be a DL that you use it for or an A5. Uh, same with this one. You might actually do that in, in, as an A6. And then you've got some plain backgrounds there as well. But you can also die cut them uh, uh, too. And the circles, uh, you see when we come to do uh, the demo, I've actually die cut my circle out because I hate cutting circles out. And you can absolutely use some of the rectangle dies and square die, dies to cut the toppers as well and cut flowers out from them, obviously. Um, so in each pack, there's 24 A4 sheets, two sheets of each, 12 designs. So as there's two sheets of each, you can cut one up and have another one to stroke and to keep if you want to. So, um, so that's the pack that we're using today. Also today, um, I'm gonna use a selection of the new dies. Uh, we're going to be using the um, On Your Special Day Sentiment Edger. We're also going to be using the uh, flowers. And this is the Pretty Petals Precious Blooms. We're going to be using the lovely leaves. And also probably we're going to be using the Cascading Hearts. And you'll find all the new products over on my website, juliewattscrafts.co.uk, uh, with up until midnight on the 9th of March, you'll get um, a 10 percent discount by entering code yours 10 in the discount code box at checkout. It all is all while stocks last. Um, so um, don't hang about with some of the some of the items. Um, and you can also find them on Honeypot Crafts as well. And Phil will have individual deals on those, too. So let's crack on and let's make a card. So we're gonna start at the back. So this is one of your background papers. So there's another, the cor this corner here goes like that, A4. So I've got a little bit that's left over in my tray here somewhere. And I've just, so I've just trimmed it down and I've trimmed it down to, I know you'll ask me. I've trimmed it down to, excuse the state of this ruler, eight by seven, I think. Yeah, eight by seven. And I wanted to put it on craft card, but do you think I can find my craft card? I cannot. So this is your olive grove that I've teamed it up with. I think that does work quite well. 
So we're just going to glue that down to start with. And you can stamp on these papers because uh, it's a nice smooth finish to it. As I said, it is construction weight. It's 250 GSM. All the cardstock from Sentimental Yours is 270 GSM. So there's not a lot between the cardstock and the paper pad. Let's see if I can get this on straight before it sets on me. If I wiggle it too much, then it'll set and I won't be able to wiggle it anymore. There we go, that'll do. Jobs are good. And there are a number of borders. Let's see where we're at. There's a number of borders in the kit. Um, so I've selected this one and I've also got uh, a piece here of the olive grove. So we're going to stick that together too. And this is the Sentimentally Yours um, PVA. I don't think I need to go right to the edge. Just with a little border. We're going to go right to the end and we should have a little border each side. Just a narrow one. That, that side's not, not stuck, which is fine. So that's going to go across there in a minute. We've also got, let's see, this is one of the toppers. And as I said, I don't like cutting circles out. So um, this is the stitch torn circles. And, I still, and I've still kept some of the, the um, border that there is in the actual pad. You know, it, it's, it would be a nice smooth circle if you cut it out uh, manually, but I've done the stitch torn, but it work, I think it works nicely. And uh, the stitching detail goes over this white stitching too. And I'm going to mat it onto a double deboss circle as well, again, in the olive grove. I'm going to this out. I am using quite a few bits on this particular card. Obviously, you don't need to use as many. You can be a lot more um, frugal with your papers if you want to. Put that down there. Let's see if you can wiggle that to get it so that it's evenish. Given that it's a stitch torn edge, it's not always that easy. That's that one. I've also already matted and layered um, a tag uh, from the kit and I've cut out the hole with a cropper dial. I think that's what it's called, it's that big pink thing. And then I've got a rounded edge um, tag as well. And I'm actually going to put, I think, a little bit of baker's twine because I've found some uh, pink and white baker's twine. So I think we're going to put a little bit of baker's twine in it, a ribbon and scissors. And we're going to thread front to back. I might change my mind and decide I don't like it. But I don't want it to be very long. That'll do. And then we'll do the same with this tag here. Again, front to back. You don't have to cut these out. You could just put uh, a pearl or a gem in the centre if you wanted to. Or you could staple them onto your card. That's sometimes quite a cool thing to do. There's our tags. I've also got um, flowers. So let's do let's let's just stick these flowers together so that the glue can be drying on them while we're actually doing our construction. And these flowers, so we've got for the first time, Phil has done a, there's three sets of flowers in the 
um, pretty petals and this is the precious blooms and he's done open petals and solid petals on the same die set and there's six different sizes um, so I used one of the background papers from the kit so this is my background paper see I haven't used very much from the kit and uh, just to cut the solids out and then I've used the uh, Sentiment of Yours Pure White card for my topper bits. And with the flowers, you can just choose to use the opens, you can just choose to use the solids. You could put the opens on top of the solids so they're like that, uh, which looks lovely. You can stack them up obviously, so you could put another size on here if you wanted to. Um, perhaps have that one going in there and then offset that one in like that so you could have stack them up and they look rather lovely or which is what I'm going to do and I tend to do is actually put them right on top of one another like that now you don't have to glue the whole thing together unless you want to fill that area in because if you if you want to stick it all together you can absolutely do that dip that all in your glue and then stick it together you could put glossy accents in that gap there. Uh, you could put your glitter pens in there. You could also um, add um, some glue and then glitter, which would be rather nice. But I'm just going to use mine as is. And if you if you're only doing, you know, like like with like, you can you can get away with just putting a blob of glue in the centre of each one. And just having it like that and leaving the petals loose you don't need to actually glue them all if you don't want to I learned that many years ago life's too short to glue if you don't need to okay so we want the biggest one first there's beautiful colors in this um rose garden pad they're all very different all three of them and it's actually hard to choose a favorite in fact i can't choose a favorite one, one day i think oh that's my favorite and then i think no i really like that one so whatever one you're using turns to be your favorite so these are this is a very romantic feeling um pad i think and with lovely delicate pinks and uh pale greens like I say it would go very well with craft card but I can't find my craft card it's doing my head in I'm gonna have to buy a pack of it to because I can't find it I know I've got some somewhere I'll find it once I bought another one you watch so there's my last little flower going on there so we're going to put those aside to dry We've also got a cascading heart here. We're going to figure out what we're going to do with that. And I've also got the On Your Special Day. And I've cut the back out of the olive grove. So let's get this stuff together. So we're going to do that scribble thing on the, pad, on the um, mat and dip into it. Obviously, if you've got a few cut, you can um, be a bit more um, frugal with your glue because you can do several at once. So I'll put that in there. Put some glue on that. Quite a long sentiment, this one. Let's move that out of the way so we've got a bit of space. And so I'm just going to stand up so I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to be over it. And I'm going to line up the S from Special. It's a lot easier when you don't have a camera in the way. <laughs> Let's put that 
that's just, just just working over there so I can get that. Okay, now I'm gonna move move work backwards. Those are set sat in nicely. Go another way. And press. Do my clean up. So I've just dumped my fingers in the in the glue, obviously. Really comes off your mat really easily. There we go. Okay, so let's go back to this here and see where we're at. So, before I actually stick any foam tape on, I want to make sure that I know what I'm doing. So, that's going to go on there with foam tape, and I want to have my border on here there so that's got to go on flat before we stick everything on and then this is going to go over here okay so let's stick this border on first and then we can trim it down and then we can start building up our card so we don't need to go all the way across how far do we need to go that's plenty Have it middle-ish. That's straight. Normally you can tell it's straight in that that's nice and flush on the one side. Okay. Now I need to figure out what I'm going to do with this. We are going to bring in. there so but I'm also going to have these tags I think that's going to go actually up a bit more to the left and we're going to bring in these tags so we're going to have a tag there and we're going to have a tag there like that so we might want to bring in we don't need much of this part here so let's just tear that So, that can then go under there. Or always kind of plan it out, what you want to do with it. And then we could have a little bit down here, maybe. So let's do that. Obviously, we're not going to go under the border. So I could have thought about that a bit harder and gone under the border, but didn't, obviously. But we can have it so that it goes like that might be quite nice okay so let's do that so I'll bring in some glue again could have kept that on my mat, my mat but I didn't let's put it over here so we've got some space to put our card A lot, of, a lot of this will be anchored anyway by other things. Let's put that right there, I think. And I'm fine having it go over the side there because I can trim it down in a minute. Let's put the glue on this one. Guiding Hearts has been very popular dye already. So this is going to come up like so. Okay, let's get rid of that mess that I've made yet again. Okay. 
trim this down now. See if I can get them in there. Use a guillotine if you're more comfortable with a guillotine. So I can keep that. And perhaps you took it in, in on another card. Don't waste it. And now we can go for our foam tape and we can pop it onto our card back and then we can start building up. Oh no, we don't need to do that yet. Do we? No. We'll put that on it, the sentiment one in a second. I hate forgetting to do things, but I don't want to do that yet. So there's a plan. I may well deviate from obviously. That's part of the fun of card making, I think, is starting off with one idea in your head and then going off at a tangent and making something totally different at the end. Always remember to have some phone tape going across because you don't want to have a saggy middle. This is the woodware. This is two millimetre foam tape. If you've not got any nails, use tweezers. I've never been able to take them off with tweezers. I'm going to use my nails. Make sure your hearts are point, pointing in the right direction. Well, Rosie looks fabulous, doesn't it? Absolutely fabulous. So, I say this is going to go over slightly. So, think about where you want the, the actual roses themselves to be. And I think we will go to on this as well. A lot of this is matting layering, foam pads, glue, but there's so many different permutations that you, you can have with these, these packs. Obviously, if you, if you were to buy more than one of each individual one, you, you will never make the same card twice. Unless you actually set out to do that, you won't actually do the same card twice. So I'm going to have it over to one side like that. Then we're going to bring in the tags. So the tags are going to go they're going to go like that. Let's have them like that perhaps. So we want some more tape along this side here. it like that and that'll be glued so let's do that and like I say that I am throwing quite a lot at this and you don't have to do that this other tag at an angle here. So that's just going to be glued. Like so. And we'll do a 
then we're going to bring in the on your special day and that's going to go here along the bottom I think you will go right along the bottom actually it is going to be a bit raised because of the elements that we've got here which is fine I'm, I'm okay I'm okay with that just right along the bottom So you want that glue to grab. Hold it still for a minute. Get in there. I love the fact that the the letters like the Y and the, the bottom of the P and the swirl from the from the O, they come below the line. It's just Detail, as our Phil would say, makes all the difference. So it's really shaping up, isn't it? Really, really pretty. Okay. So that's that. I've also cut out a couple of embellishments here, and I was going to put one up there and one down here, but I might actually have them. Let's see, because I'm not happy with that there, but a flower could go there maybe. You want that? No, I don't, I don't like that. But let's, let's just think about what we're going to do with these. Well, I could put one up there, couldn't I? Just have them on that side. No, I don't like that. I like it like that. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to use those. I don't know. We'll see. I've got with love, so that's going to come in here. So that's one of the uh, little sentiments that we've got in the set. And I think I will pop that on. Let's pop that on one millimetre. So it's not as proud. Make sure that's stuck. This could be anniversary, it could be wedding, it could be birthday, it could be anything really. Let's have it so that it goes over. Slightly like that. And then we've got our flowers. Now with our flowers, now that everything's dry. Five of them. That. I think we, as far as the shape is concerned, I'm not really going to do any shaping except that I'm going to just do circular motions in the centre just to raise the petals up a little bit. I've got, so I don't know what these are called, these are shimmer pearls um, and this is the pale pink, I, I'm not sure what exactly what they're called um, because there's nothing on my jar. Um, so I think we want a little one in there but all the rest are going to be big. So in this, I think in the shimmer, yeah in the shimmer pearls you do get three millimetre as well so you get five, eight and three millimetre pearls. Center of this. Okay. Uh, my uh, pick up tools. So remember these are called, I can't remember, these are called your precious blooms, pretty petals, precious blooms. 
and I'm just massaging my the tip, the wax tip, to make it warmer. So then I can pick up my pearl and pop it in the centre and then just use my finger to press it down to make sure that the glue's adhered. So they are really just a pick up. I know Phil uses his tweezers to do the pressing and I prefer to use my fingers. I'm not sure if there are any of these pearls left. These, these, the pearls and the gems you can only get from uh, Honeypot Crafts. They're not available anywhere else. Okay, so there's our flowers. Pretty. Let's figure out where we want these. I've also got some leaves, and these are from your um, lovely leaves. And I've just cut them out of the green, uh, plainish background from the Creative Pack. And uh, I'm, I'm only using the um, complete petals, um, not the uh, the open ones or the solids, whatever it is called them, I can't remember. Um, so I've got, the, the, you get them with one leaf, and with two leaves and with three leaves. Um, so I've got one of each of those. So I was thinking that what we would do is we would have perhaps a big flower. It's a shame to cover that up really, isn't it? Hmm. Yeah, I was thinking we'd have a big flower here and perhaps another one there. We could perhaps have actually, because I don't like that area there, we can perhaps have a couple of little flowers on that side, perhaps. I don't know yet, we're not committed yet, like that. Maybe one up there as well. No, I don't like that. <laughs> I always go for threes, I always like, I like threes. So threes like that, maybe. And I could still have those there and then we've got that still visible like that, maybe. Let's do that. I, I do like these these papers are beautiful, absolutely stunning. Okay, let's let's glue this down. Stop flapping and just do it. Make sure that's glued. <clears throat> I like the fact that there's a good area, a good base for you to put your glue on the back. And these are six petals, whereas um, I'm sure that the previous flowers that Phil has done is, have been five petals. Um, so I, I do quite like six petals. And you can, and you should be able to make roses as well. There's, there's like a little, after the go, you can um, kind of, Cut, cut various petals off and actually make a rose out of them. I'll try and have a go and do a video of that. Not until I've had a go though, obviously. Not that daft. How does that look? That looks all right, doesn't it? And then we'll do these two here. Do that one there, oh, actually on the tag, and we'll do this one where I've trimmed that off a little bit too much. Like that. It's fine to have something that's outside. Obviously, if you're putting it on an envelope, you might want to stay within the line, so you might want that over a little bit. Um, but it is fine to go off, off the page a little bit. I still want to use one of these actually. One of the embellishments. How does that look? I can't make my mind up. That's not too bad, is it? 
Oh, let's just do it. <laughs> let's just do it. Stop faffing, Julia. So just, just stick it down. Because that's what I intended to do. So these, these embellishments are from your creative pack as well. These would be rather nice. If you want to add, make them more blingy, you could actually add glossy accents to them. Uh, obviously, then you have to wait for them to dry. Or you could do it on your card, but it's just safer for you to do it before you put them on the card, just in case you have a little bit of a leakage. If it drops, if it drops, off, drops off the edge, you don't want it running all over your card. Okay, that's those even. Yeah, that's good to me. Right, so that's that. We're committed to those now. <coughs> that's a little bit up high, isn't it? Let's move that up a bit. Hang on. Can I move that one? Oh, I can. I can still move them. That's unusual. I must have put so much glue on there. Because I'm over my, my Y, and I don't want to be over my Y. Gems are moving. If you put put more glue on, then um, you can still move them a little bit more. So that's why I'm able to shift things around a little bit. Let's just move that petal. Ha, 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 ha. Let's have that petal over there. Move that gem in the centre. A bit of movement. How are we doing? That looks better. Right, okay, so I'll still read that, so that's good. Now we're going to have pop our leaves in. Might not use all the leaves. Where do we want them? It's quite delicate. Let's just trim a little bit more off. Okay. Now we need to use the other three. Bringing that one down in under here, rather so I'm not cover. I don't want to cover my my yaw up. My wife and my yaw. And we'll have. I'm not going to put any leaves over here with these ones. The leaves are only going over with my trio. leaves. Perhaps under there like that. And then I won't use the singles I think on this one. I'll just use the, the two and the three. And then we'll perhaps have another pair of leaves just under there. Yeah, that's good. Happy with that. I think you're done. I think I've used everything. The only other thing that we could do if you wanted to is with your cascading hearts, you're going to have all the bits that drop out of it. So if you wanted to, you could add a couple of hearts. Perhaps we could add some. Perhaps, perhaps no, I don't think I like that. I think without is better actually because they're very solid aren't they so I think I'm going to leave them I think I'm going to stick like that but keep keep these because you can ink them you can do all sorts of things with them and then you can paper piece them back into one of your other die cuts if you wanted to or if you cut your other die cut out in a different colour you can paper piece those in so um, definitely do that I think we're done actually I think I'm happy with that um, hope you like that so obviously it's it's quite a significant card. There's quite a lot of bits and pieces in there, but you could you can leave the tags off if you wanted to. You could actually 
put another sentiment in here from um you know these little little panels or you've got the little tiny kind of um cabochon kind type uh, embellishments within the kit um but there you go uh like i say all the products are available uh if they're still in stock on my website uh, juliawattscrafts.co.uk and up until midnight on the 9th of March, there is a 10% discount if you enter code yours10 in the discount code box at checkout. Uh, also, the products are available at honeypotcrafts.co.uk. Um, and um, it'd be wonderful if you would um, like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's much appreciated, which is uh, Julia Watts Crafts. And... Um, do remember to try to ask to join the Crafting with Phil Martin and Sentiment to Yours Facebook group because there's always lots and lots of sneak peeks and um, inspiration from the design team and all the members on there. And thank you so much for watching. Remember to check out my other videos. Bye for now.